Look, man, every person out here, you can only promise one thing. And I can only promise you, any, any, any of you guys, one thing. I'm gonna run as far as I can possibly run. No more, no less. But, but, but it's, it's not complicating. You have one, you have one objective. Stay present, man. Be patient. Gosh, now Greg's here. The whole first 30 hours is just a warm up. You gotta be patient for that. In SEAL training is where I learned that technique, yeah. That's so guys, I mean, that's the number one reason guys quit. But SEAL training <laughs> is doing exactly what Greg did last year. Um, super can be a super simple evolution, which that is this. This is a super simple evolution, a one mile loop. You can't get lost. You don't have to worry about, you turn off and you freaking run, man. It can't get any more simpler than this. All right, being the underdog is the best position you can possibly be in. You talk about up and comer, um, dude, you, that means you're hungry. You know, I, I wish, I wish I was here as the underdog and nobody knew who I was and, and I could just slip in there and, and not until hour 25, 26, 20, somebody said, who's like, who's that guy with the red beard? That's a great position to be in. But sometimes, you know, when you do this long enough, you can't show up as the underdog anymore. People know who you are and you, you gotta learn to deal with it. I'm just gonna crush that dude's soul, man. I think he's probably a fast runner but I'm just gonna take a piece of his soul. I'll probably freaking hurt him so bad he'll never race again.